So today I'm going to be doing a 90s inspired outfit, hair and makeup, you know, the whole shebang. All right, so I'm starting out with my regular foundation routine and I'm going to be mixing two different foundations because I'm in between shades right now. So I'm starting out with clear mascara for my eyebrows. You guys already know this. So now I'm applying concealer so my eyebrows look on point for the eyeshadows I'm about to apply. All right, so I'm going to be using Makeup Geek shadows today. The first color I'm using is called Creme Brulee, and that's going to be my transition shade. Using a tapered brush, I'm going to apply the color Frappe to the outer V of my eyes, and then I'm gonna blend it out. And then I took the color Cocoa Bear to deepen up the crease area. With my fingers, I took the color Amber Rush, and this is a L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow, just to, you know, make my eyes stand out. So I'm lining my upper and lower waterline, and then I took the color Drama Queen to smoke out my lower lash line. Now I'm going to add some fake eyelashes, and these lashes are actually from Forever 21, and they actually weren't that bad. And after the glue dries, I like to take black eyeshadow to cover up the glue. And then I took liquid liner to make my inner corner a little bit pointy, but not too pointy, you know, just a little bit. And now I'm going to take this NYC mascara for my lower lashes. I forget about this mascara all the time. When I use it, I'm like, why did I forget using it? Because it really makes my lower lashes stand out. Alright, I'm going to take this plum liner and line my entire lips. Now I'm taking NYX lipstick in the color Transylvania. This color is really, really pretty for fall. Like, I'm in love. No, no, no. I'm obsessed. Once it dries, this color is amazing. And I did two layers of it. And that's pretty much it for my makeup. Moving on to my hair, I'm just going to part my hair in the middle, going all the way down. Now I'm going to take some gel and basically put my hair into a ponytail. And I did start out with the Fantasia gel, but then I used my other favorite gel, which is the Wet Line Extreme. And I started brushing it and you know taking out my baby hairs and I take I make the the ponytail like kind of like on the back of my head in a way like I don't want it on the side I want it in the back so yeah do that and then I'll show you what I do after I want you to once you have your two ponytails you're going to take the ends of the hair twist it and then twist it around the ponytail I hope that makes sense it's kind of like you're doing a top knot bun once I was done bobby pinning the bun down I then took pieces of my curly hair and wrapped it around the bun to make the bun into the shape that I wanted it to be and also to help it stay secure as well 
and you can make your bun as big or as little as you want and yeah just keep playing with it like you were like if you were making a regular bun And the last thing I'm doing is touching up my baby hairs and then adding some hairspray to make sure that these buns don't move. Okay, now so for my outfit, I wore this suede tube dress in the color navy blue that I got from Too Cute. Then I added this bracelet thingamajiggy from Forever 21. And my rings are also from Forever 21. My nail polish is an NYC nail polish. It's a gray color, which I'll leave in the description section. And this choker is also from Forever 21. And then my shoes I got from Charlotte Russe a long time ago. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I appreciate all the love and support. Thank you guys.